it's a unique piece of equipment. I mean, it was an easy install, and we watched all the, the stages of it, and you know, it was it was an experience for some of the newer guys that haven't been involved into it. I've been here 16 years and have done major installs before, and this was probably the, the smoothest install we've had. Well, the waste tech, it uh, removes debris from the waste stream being pumped up to the, the main plant. So it collects all the, the grit, and rocks, and everything else to, to prevent damage downstream. I've gone from the old bar rack systems that were half inch gaps, all the way to the old wise flow systems that went to quarter inch. Now we're into the fine screen systems now, and they remove a lot of the debris. We installed it in-house, so we, we had all the panels off of it, and we noticed a lot of differences compared to the, the uh, past screens that we've installed. It's a fine screen, and it's got a brush system to clean the screen, along with water pressure. So it gets a, a cleaner screen and a better removal of solids and debris. It helps with the maintenance and collecting all the debris, especially at, when you get 19 to 20 MGD in the plant. Everything's a lot smaller and it appears that it, it's doing an excellent job. It's part of a train, but it goes out, it removes the debris, and it goes through a train system and it removes and it chews up the debris and it goes into a hopper. And also it goes, it diverts the flow, the grit and everything else goes to a different process. So it's, it's all done right here and then returned back. So it, it's a very critical piece of equipment to the head of the, the plant. The preventative maintenance is the number one goal. We grease it once a month uh, and predictive and preventative maintenance is number one. So that helps a lot in the long run of breakdowns and stuff like that. It helps prevent deragging of pumps um, labor-wise. If we didn't have this system, we'd be pulling pumps and pulling debris from pumps and the big rocks that would pass through, especially during a, he a heavy rain event. You know, it would flush the rocks through and get clogged up in our impellers on the downstream system. The last rain event, last April, we put 19 to 20 MGD through just this screen alone. Sometimes they'll run maybe every 15 to 20 minutes. During a storm event, they could run 24 seven. But it runs on a differential, and as the flow comes in, it, it'll run on a VFD, a variable frequency drive, and it'll, it'll maintain what it needs. Uh, it, was, it was quite impressive, because I mean, we had both units running, and you know, and that's half. So uh, it was very important that we accepted all that flow, 